November 11, 2021 Daily Devotional A Devotion on the Book of Acts This is my Father's word And to my listening ears All nature sings And grounding rings The music of the spheres This is my Father's word Our scripture reading today, please read Acts chapter 23. In Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 21, it says, Hear this, O foolish and senseless people, who have eyes but see not, who have ears but hear not. Religious fanaticism, foolish and senseless. We left the Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 22 with the crowd starting to be unruly and violent again. The commander then brought Paul to the barracks to protect him from the violence. The next day, the commander ordered the Sanhedrin to assemble and find out what exactly Paul was being accused of. In verse 6, Paul was called out in the Sanhedrin to defend himself. My brothers, I am a Pharisee, descended from Pharisees. I stand on trial because of the hope of the resurrection of the dead. This statement caused an uproar as the Sanhedrin was divided into Sadducees who said there was no resurrection, at the same time the Pharisees believed there was. So the Pharisees immediately concluded that they found nothing wrong with Paul. In verse 10, the dispute became so violent that the commander was afraid Paul would be torn to pieces by them. He ordered the troops to go down and take him away from them by force and bring him into the barracks. Fanaticism is a belief or behavior involving uncontrolled zeal or obsessive enthusiasm. The fanatic displays rigorous standards and little tolerance for contrary ideas or opinions. This perfectly describes the religious Jews. On the one hand, we see them following the law of Moses diligently, while we see them willing to be cruel and violent, to bear false witness, even to kill anyone who defers their beliefs on the other. Many today commit the same mistakes in the name of religion. They are fully devoted to worshipping and following their beliefs, yet many in their extreme devotion to the cause 
has yielded an attitude of cruelty, intolerance, injustice, bizarre behavior, torture, violence, and killings in the name of their religion, which preaches love, peace, patience, and compassion. We see that in the campaigns of the Crusades, which started with good intentions of winning back the Holy Land, committing unspeakable brutality and atrocities with the inhabitants of the land. In the Middle Ages, we saw the Church, instead of following Christ's example of love, compassion, and kindness, use the dreaded Spanish Inquisition. For centuries, people were burned at stake stretched to death or tortured because of religion, which historians believe cost millions of lives. In addition, Salem witch trials in the 1700s executed people, primarily women accused of witchcraft. Today, suicide bombers are promised blessings in paradise if they will kill others who do not have the same beliefs and cause. We heard of people in repressive countries being imprisoned tortured and killed because of differences in belief. In 1978, many followers at Jonestown's The People's Temple, led by Jim Jones, committed mass suicide and willingly ingested a poison-laced punch, blindly following their leader's call. We see people blindly giving their hard-earned money to many religious leaders who are just enriching themselves. In Jeremiah 5 verse 21, the Bible clearly defines these followers, or fanatics, as foolish and senseless. Hear this, O foolish and senseless people, who have eyes but see not, who have ears but hear not. Also, a part of Romans 1 verse 28 and 30 states, God gave them over to a depraved mind, so that they do what ought not to be done they invent ways of doing evil. Are you one of these foolish and senseless people? Or a depraved mind blindly following something or someone without valid reasons? Do you simply base your beliefs on feelings following a dynamic leader with twisted doctrine, culture, practice, and traditions? Does this also speak of our voting preference? Who still vote for officials with track records of corruption, incompetence, even criminality and self-interest? Foolish and senseless. The Jews refused to give up after failing to deliver Paul to his death. From verses 12 to 15, we see that they plotted an ambush on Paul's way to Caesarea and even took an oath not to drink or eat until they had killed Paul. Such hatred in a religion that professes love for God is something unthinkable. But God intervenes and uses a young boy to expose this conspiracy. In verses 23 to 35, the commander called for a detachment of 200 Roman soldiers, 200 spearmen, and 70 horsemen to escort and protect Paul. At the same time, they traveled to Caesarea and presented him to Governor Felix to hear Paul's unique case. God is sovereign, and he watched over Paul. If we see the determination of evil people and if their evil deeds succeed, the more we should keep praying without ceasing for God's protection, wisdom, and strength so we can stand firm and follow his will. Reflection It is easy to point fingers at others and accuse them of being fanatics, filled with hatred instead of love. But if we are honest, sometimes we may act as religious leaders, self-righteous, judgmental, accusers, and condemning in our own tone and action. As God's followers, Christ calls us to love our enemies. Bless those who curse us and pray for those who mistreat us. This goes beyond our abilities. That is why we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and His wisdom. Just like Paul. Difficult. Yes. 
impossible? With God, no. In Him, all things are possible, even loving and blessing and praying for our enemies. God is willing to empower us. But the question remains, are we willing? Prayer. Lord, it's easy to become hopeless when we focus on the circumstances. It's so easy to blame others if my attitude is like the religious leaders, self-righteous, judgmental, and condemning. Help me to remember that no one is righteous, and all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, including me. I am saved not because of my own holiness and purity, but by your grace and mercy. Please help me be humble always. And Lord, give me the strength to be able to heed your commandment to love our enemies. Bless those who curse us and pray for those who mistreat us. Help me, Lord. I believe with you all things are possible. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>